Hi everybody and welcome to Intro to Malware Analysis. In this room we are given a sample, a malicious file, and we are going to use some tools and resources uh, to find out information about the sample uh, we are given. When you do malware analysis, you are trying to learn more about the properties of a uh, potentially malicious file, uh, what it does, uh, etc. So today, just like the name of the room states, uh, we are getting a little intro to malware analysis where we are asked to find some information about the sample, uh, sample we are given, and we're going to use the tools and resources at our disposal to do that. So uh, let's just begin. Okay, let's see. Uh, there's nothing we, we need to do here. So we can just click on complete it and move on to the next uh, task, uh, which is a uh, malware analysis. Okay, so let's see. Uh, which team uses uh, malware analysis to look for ILCs or indicators of compromise uh, and hunt for malware in a network? And that will be threat hunt team. Okay, so let's type that in. Uh, let's see, threat hunt team like this. And we submit. Great. And now let's move on to the next uh, task, which is uh, techniques of malware analysis. Okay, let's see. So, uh, which uh, technique is used for analyzing malware without executing it? And that will be static analysis. So, let's type that in. Let's see, and we submit. Perfect. And now, which uh, technique is used for analyzing malware by executing it and observing its behavior in a control, uh, controlled environment? And that will be dynamic, uh, dynamic analysis. Okay, so let's type that in. There you go, and we submit, perfect. Uh, and now uh, let's move on to the next uh, task, which is basic static analysis. Okay, let's see. Um, let's go down to the bottom and let's see what we need to do here. Okay. In the attached uh, virtual machine, there is a sample named uh, Redline in the uh, samples directory. What is the MD5 sum of this uh, sample? Okay, so what we need to do here is first uh, start the virtual machine. So let's go way, way back up here and click on start machine. And I'll scroll back down again. Let's see. Uh, there you go. Now let's open the terminal and let's first see what uh, director, uh, directory uh, we are currently in. Um, okay, so okay, then we need to just type a CD and then um, desktop and then uh, samples, right? Because there is uh, this is where we can find the, um, the uh, sample, right? Uh, so we press enter and then we can list the files in the samples directory and we can see the red line uh, file right here, right? Uh, the sample. Uh, okay, uh, so what we need to do next is just type md5sum and then red line like this and there you go. This is the md5 hash that we are looking for. Uh, so uh, let's copy the hash uh, and paste it right here and submit. There you go. Perfect. Uh, now, what is the creation time of this uh, sample? Okay, so here we need to go to the VirusTotal uh, website and they have, uh, TriHack may have uh, provided a link here. So let's click on the link. And now, what we need to do here is just uh, go to the uh, search tab and then paste the uh, hash uh, of the um, red line uh, file. Uh, so we paste and we press enter. There you go. And what we need to do next is just click on the details uh, tab 
and under history we can see creation time right so this right here is our answer so let's copy that and just paste it right here there you go and submit and then move on to the next uh, task which is the pe file header okay let's scroll down and see what we need to do here uh, okay so in the attached virtual machine uh, there is a sample named redline yes we already know that uh, in the uh, samples directory what is the entropy of the uh, text section of this uh, sample okay so what we need to do here is just go inside the inside the terminal and just type pe check redline okay so pe check redline like this let's um, do that again so PE uh, PE check there you go so yes now I have uh, spelled that right so PE check and then red line and there you go okay perfect okay so what what we need to do here is just scroll back up scroll all the way back to the top and let's see right next to text entropy right right next to text entropy we see our answer okay so let's copy the answer like this and paste it right here and we submit and there you go okay so the sample named uh, red line has five sections uh, the text section the R data section data section and resource section are four of them what is the name of the fifth section? And uh, if we take a look back inside the uh, terminal, we can find our answer, which is the end data section right here, right? So let's copy, copy that and paste it right here. And we submit and there you go. Now, from which DLL file or dynamic uh, dynamic uh, link library file does the sample named uh, Redline uh, import import uh, the function uh, right here? Uh, well, it's quite easy to find. So uh, what we need to do here is just go down to the um, go back to the terminal here and just scroll down to to the imported. Um, um, scroll down to uh, imported symbols. Uh, and see if let me see if I okay we're still here directories okay here we are so you just have to scroll down here and if we look right here we can find our answer right so uh, so the red line sample is importing the function from the AD uh, ADV API 32 DLL file or the advanced Windows 32 base API dynamic uh, dynamic uh, link library file right so what we need to do here is just copy that and just paste it right here like this and there you go okay uh, now, um, check out the GUI-based uh, PE tree tool and see what information it shows. Uh, you can use the following command for using the PE uh, tree tool to analyze the red line malware. Um, okay, so uh, you guys can explore the GUI-based PE tree tool yourselves. I'll just show you how to open it in case you're getting getting an error, like like actually I um, I'm getting right. So I'll show you. So what you need to do here is just type uh, uh, PE dash uh, tree red line, and then you get a little uh, error. I'm sorry, I just type something the wrong way here let's let me just try again so pe dash tree like this red line and enter so i'll probably get an error again uh this time a real error not because i uh i spelled something wrong uh but you'll see just give it a little moment uh, let's see actually you don't have to even have to wait okay there you go so actually okay it showed up so this is the error that i'm currently getting but all you need to do if you if you get the same error you just click on Control c that's it and there you go the tool uh, the pe tree tool opens up okay
Okay, so I will just click on complete it and move on to the next uh, task, well, which is basic dynamic analysis. Okay, let's scroll down here. Let me just close the PE, uh, PE tree tool. Okay, let's see. So check the hash of the sample red line on hybrid analysis and check out the hybrid analysis report in the process uh, tree, which is the first process launched when the sample um, when the sample is launched. Okay, so what we need to do here uh, is first go to the hybrid analysis website. Uh, so let's see if we can find a link right here. Uh, let's see, there you go. Okay, and now what you need to do is click on the uh, report, uh, report search uh, tab then search for the red line md5 hash uh, so so let's go back to task four and copy the hash let's see or we can actually just scroll back up here uh, let's see there you go so let's copy that and there you go paste it right here click on search then we click on the September 9th uh, entry. There you go. Uh, and now what we need to do is just uh, scroll down to the process uh, tree. So we scroll down a little bit. Let's see if we can uh, see it right here. There you go. Uh, and we see our answer right here, right? Which is the setup installer uh, executable. Okay. So let's go back uh, here and answer uh, the question. And let's see, task six, right? There you go. Okay. So let's type that in. So set up. Uh, installer there you go oh I forgot the there you go the file extension there you go okay in the process tree uh, there are two windows utilities utilized by the malware to perform its activities what are the names of the two utilities uh, okay so let's go back and look at the process tree and here is our answer. So the uh, command uh, prompt and PowerShell, right? Okay, so let's go back and answer the question. So we type CMD uh, and PowerShell, right? There you go. And we click on submit. Perfect. And now let's move on to the next uh, task, which is anti-analysis uh, techniques. Okay, which of the techniques discussed above is used uh, to bypass a static analysis? A and that will be packing. But yeah, you guys can, of course, read that yourself. Um, read about packing and, and um, uh, the different techniques. But th this is the answer, which we, uh, yeah, if you read uh, the explanation, uh, you know, we would have found the answer there, right? So I'll just type that in, packing like this and submit. And uh, let's see what's next, which technique uh, discussed above is used to time out a sandbox. Uh, and again, if you read the explanation, you, you would have found the answer and we can actually see the answer right here. So long sleep calls, right? So let's type that in. Oops, there you go, and we submit, perfect, and now let's move on to the final task, which is conclusion. And of course, there's nothing uh, we, uh, there's nothing we need to do here, so we can just go and click on complete it, and we are done with this room. 
Okay, everybody, if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, I would really appreciate it if you gave the video a thumbs up. And of course, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos on Try Hack Me, Cybersecurity, and Ethical Hacking. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.